Hello everyone and welcome to Women Love Sports 2. I am your host Bree and we have a very exciting show for you today but before I get into today's show I want to make sure you all are hitting that like button and subscribing to the Women's Love Sports 2 YouTube channel. Also you can make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram at the social media handles provided on the screen. Now that we've gotten that out the way we have a very exciting interview for you today. Our special guest today has his own mortgage company. It is number one in America, United Wholesale Mortgage. And outside of United Wholesale Mortgage, he is doing a lot with his passion for basketball. And he has taken that to an entirely different level, becoming the new and proud owner of the Phoenix Suns and the Phoenix Mercury. And he's here to talk to us about that today. So welcome to the show, Matt Ishbia. Oh, great to be here with you. Thank you, thank you for having me. So Matt. We all are definitely living vicariously through you right now with your acquisition of the Suns and the Mercury. So tell us, how does it feel to be able to call yourself an owner of a professional sports team? You know, it's really pretty cool. It's, it's surreal a little bit. You know, I don't know if I look at myself as the owner because I look at it as like Phoenix owns the teams, the Suns and the Mercury both. But my job is the steward. My job is the one to help. I almost work for everyone in the city. My job is to help lead these teams in the best way possible. And so they call it owner, governor whatever steward but it's really cool I've had so much fun getting a really chance to really dig in out there learn about not just basketball of course we care about basketball and sports but also the people the fan experience how it can impact the community it's, it's such a big platform an NBA and a WNBA team and so I've had a lot of fun with it enjoying it and excited for the season coming up absolutely and we're excited to see what you're going to do this season coming up now speaking of the season uh, in the summer we had a couple of trades if you will CP3 amongst others uh, were sent to the Washington Wizards in exchange for Bradley Beal so with that being said how excited are you to have Bradley Beal and what are your expectations of him coming into this organization with the system you know, Brad is an amazing basketball player, as most people know, but he's maybe even a better person. He's the kind of guy that fits in really well with Devin and Kevin and really our whole organization. And so when I got a chance to meet Brad and his wife, Kamaya, both wonderful people, it's like these are the type of people we want leading our organization. And so getting Brad there next to Kevin and Devin, I think we got the three, the top trio of players in the NBA and three great players that are going to work well together, um, be great teammates to the other guys on the team as well. Uh, but we're really excited to see them play together. Absolutely, and I'm excited again for the season coming up. Yeah. So. And now with we're going to transition over to the WNBA. So the climate of women's basketball has been ever-changing. It's been ever-growing, especially after this past with LSU winning that NCAA title. A lot of viewership there. What are your plans as it pertains to the Phoenix Mercury in increasing that visibility for women's basketball? Yeah, so women's I'm a huge fan of basketball, whether it's men's, women's, youth basketball. I like being involved with all of it. And women's basketball is at such a higher level than people recognize. And so how do we elevate the game? And obviously there's been some great college players that are out there right now that early elevated the game last year's NCAA tournament was awesome. But also some great WNBA players right now, seeing you know the Las Vegas A's and the New York Liberty and all the great teams out there in the WNBA right now. And hopefully the Phoenix Mercury will be in that same sentence next year as we get ourselves situated for a great season. And so I think really elevating the game, making the game more available. So it's got to be available on TV. You know, we did that in Phoenix where we made all the WNBA and all the NBA games available to every Everybody for free, no subscription, no buy this service, and so you gotta make the game available so people can see the quality of play, and um, and I think that will help elevate the game for for, for women, but also it'll help men, it'll help kids, like accessibility to basketball, because I love sports, I love basketball, I love the competitiveness, the life lessons you learn in it, and so the WNBA Mercury team, I'm really excited, I'm excited for next year as we really get this thing going. Absolutely, and now time for a fun fact. So we definitely, we see the business side of Matt, we see the UWM side of Matt, we see the Phoenix Suns Mercury side. What is something that a lot of people may not know about Matt? You know, so um, I don't know if I'm like, a fun fact about me is I, I, I have, I'm extremely competitive, as we, we maybe know, or don't, but I, I coach all my kids' sports. So I coach girls' basketball, boys' basketball, boys' flag football, boys' tackle football, boys' baseball, softball. Like I'm involved with all my kids' sports. So I have three wonderful kids, 12, 10, and 9. And I coach all their sports all the time, like actively doing it. Um, so trying to balance that all the time is really important. And uh, But I love it. I, I enjoy that just as much as I enjoy the Suns and the Mercury and everything else and the UWM, the mortgage company. Like, I really love being with my kids and coaching their kids. Coach, and they're real big on positivity with all the kids. They're 9, 10. Like, like, you know, it's like lifting kids up, making them love the sport back to what you talked about. The goal is 
love the sport, enjoy, get a little better, and want to play again next year, and, and we really focus on that. So that's a fun fact I talk about. Absolutely. And you know, when do you find the time? It's like you do so much. When do you find the time? And what are some things that you try to incorporate or instill in not just your kids, but you coach their teams as well? So are there ever any uh, messages of positivity or anything that you give to those players? It's always work ethic and attitude. I believe that drives success in kids' sports, in, in pro sports, in business, mm -hmm. in life, in personal relationships. It's all about work ethic and attitude. And so I talk to the kids about like, hey, they're upset we lost the game. Okay, you can cry, yeah, that's okay. But if you cry and then just go home and play video games, you, you're gonna end up losing again next time. If you cry and say, I'm gonna go practice my, my dribbling, practice my shooting, practice my hitting, whatever, whatever sport it may be, you have a better chance of winning. So we talk about work ethic and we always talk about attitude. Like everyone's trying their best. Like no one's trying to make an error. No one's trying to make a mistake. And so being positive, if your teammate makes, makes a mistake, say, it's okay, let's get it next time. Positive talk is a huge thing for me in business, once again, but also with youth sports, but also professional sports. I talk about it all the time. Work ethic and attitude, I think it travels to personal, business, sports, youth and adults, everything. So those are the two things I focus on. I could not agree with you more, Matt. Thank you so much for taking the time out to sit down with Women Love Sports too, sorry. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Until next time, remember, who said it's a man's world? Women Love Sports too. Who said it's a man's world?